Golden the Big Engine and Thomas the Tank Engine buff Buffer to Buffer back home. It had been a busy day. First, Thomas and Cheese Gordon about the time that the big engine had slid into a ditch. Then Thomas fell down a mine and Gordon came to his rescue. Remember, Thomas? Call Gordon Woodenly. We united. We stand together before. You help me and I'll help you. I'll remember, replied Thomas, but I hope the fat controller forgives us soon. Suddenly they noticed something as the two engines whistled into the sheds. Everywhere they looked, they saw paint pots and painters. Boss of my buffers, cried Thomas. What's happening? Shh, whispered Percy. The fat controller's going to tell us now. Ladies, gentlemen and engines, I am honoured to inform you that Her Majesty, the Queen herself, is coming here to visit us. Now on with the preparations. The engines wondered who would pull the royal train. I'm too old to pull important trains, said Edward sadly. I'm in disgrace, I Gordon gloomily. He'll choose me, of course, boasted James. <coughs> you, snorted Henry. You can't climb hills. He will ask me to pull the train and I'll have a new coat of paint. <coughs> then, the rain came. Henry's driver and father covered up their cab to keep dry. A painter was on the ladder above the line. Henry's smoke blew high into the air. Whoosh! The painter couldn't see, but the end paint part fell all over Henry. Poor Henry. Well, you know the pretty picture, sneered the painter. The fat controller spoke next. You look like a nice cake, Henry. That, that will do for the royal trade. I must make other arrangements. Gordon and Thomas were waiting for him. Please, please, sir. What at a time, replied the fat controller. Yes, Gordon. May Thomas have his branch ride right again? Mm, I think you are both sorry and deserve a treat. Edward will go in front to clear the line. Thomas will look after the coaches and Gordon will pull the train. The great day came. All the engines worked hard, leading people to the town. Thomas sorted out their coaches in the yard. Edward steamed in. Peep, the Queen is here. Then Gordon whistled as he approached the station. Everyone knew that sound. The Queen's train glided into the station. Gordon was spotless and his bra shone bright. The fat controller stood to attention. Welcome, ma'am. The Queen thanked him for a splendid run and asked to see all the engines. Beep, beep, whistled Toby and Percy. Shh, whispered Henry and James. But Toby and Percy didn't care. Free cheers for the Queen! Peep, peep, they whistled. When it was time to leave, the Queen spoke specially to Thomas, who fetched her coaches, then to Edward, and finally to Gordon, who took her away. No engines ever felt prouder than those on the fat controller's railway.